Hi, this is Marcielle Presents Good News, and we are going to talk about strategies for everyday life. And um, the first one is called I'll Call You. And there's a strategy, especially in business, in which if somebody is going to call you, especially if there's a problem, let's say you have a problem with another person, it's better for you to call that person rather than waiting around and getting upset and panting and chomping at the bit, waiting for them to contact you. And it'll be at your leisure. So if you tell them, I'll call you tomorrow at 3, as 3 o'clock comes up, you, you, know, you prepare whatever it is you need. You calm yourself down. Oftentimes, it's, if it's an important call or Zoom or whatever, I'll make myself a list of various things that I might need so that, um, or need to say even, and uh, so that I'm ready and prepared. Sometimes it can be a problem between yourself and another person. It can be somebody's checking up on you. If it's your boss, maybe you could arrange that phone call where you would call that person. And then the, uh, the energy is coming from you, and then you put it out there. You are the one who's dialing the phone ready to talk to that person rather than waiting around and and not knowing for sure if that person is really going to call or whatever and it makes you look like you're on top of things so you're prepared and the stress level will go way down it's a really good strategy and uh, you might want to look into it a little bit more and try it out okay so that's your first tip Another tip I call delay. Oftentimes there's something that somebody wants us to do or uh, somebody wants to get together with us and we really don't want to get together with that person and we don't want to confront that person. We don't want to sound like a jerk or say, you know, I, I really don't want to be friends with you or whatever it is. So if you delay contact, uh, with that person. So you might say, yeah, uh, I, I'm busy right now, but I'll get back to you when I can. I'm not sure when that will be. So uh, maybe we can talk or email sometime next week, but I'm not sure I can do it. So please don't uh, count on me. And then you just keep delaying and delaying. If it's someone that you really just don't want to be friends with or don't want to see anymore, uh, you know, it's really good to delay. When I was in my early 30s, someone wanted to get together with me, and I was very fed up with that person with all the games and the head trips, and I threw the I Ching, actually, and asking it, what should I do? And it said, remain like a mountain and let the water flow around you. And I had never done that before. The person called me up and said, hey, let's get together. And I said, yeah, maybe we can. I'm busy right now. And uh, I don't think I can right now, but maybe we can get together sometime in the future. Maybe I can get back to you. And he knew what I was doing. He said, I know what you're doing, Marcel. And uh, it was because it was a breakup. And... Um, it's a long story, but he uh, he left me alone after that, even though he knew what I was doing. And it's the first time in my life I'd ever done that. I would usually be very honest and say, you know, why do you want to get together with me? You know, isn't it over anyway? And what's going on with you? And it worked out. So sometimes stalling, politely delaying, whatever it is, uh, will really work. And um, don't be confrontational. You don't have to say what you really think. Just, I need some time. Uh, I'm really swamped or whatever it is. I have a friend who 
when someone wants to be friends with her, uh, she'll just tell that person, there's no more room in my life for anything else. I'm so sorry, but uh, I really like you, but, you know, I can't. And it seems to work for her. So, you know, that's a nice thing about getting older is that we we learn these little tactics and uh, we learn how not to offend other people. Okay. Good news, and we hope to see you again. Thank you.